You're welcome to Radio Ojo and Television, and we bring you news from across the country. Here are the news headlines. Obaseki swears in permanent secretary and Subeb chief. Subsidies encourage overuse of fuel, World Bank president. Agitators seeking war won't survive two weeks. Ken in the man speaks. Now we'll go for a short break, and when we return, news in details. Today, we'll be looking at a very interesting fact about the Ted Miller Bridge in Lagos. Now, do you know that the Ted Miller Bridge is the second longest bridge in Africa? Now you know. Do you also know that it's the most popular bridge in Nigeria? Cover a distance of 11.8 km. This means that you can spend an average of 10 to 15 minutes from one end to another on a day when there's absolutely no traffic. Do you also know that it was commissioned on the 17th of August 1990? Now you know. Now you know some basic facts about the Ted Miller Bridge. Don't forget to follow us on YouTube at Widi Ojo and Online TV, Facebook at Ojo TV. Instagram at Radio Ojo and Online TV. Now the news details in full, read by Destiny Daniels. Governor Godwin Obaseki of Edo State has sworn in Professor Faith Usadolo as the new Solicitor General and Permanent Secretary Ministry of Justice. Also sworn in on Tuesday in Benin by the Governor was Mrs. Osavize Salami as the Chairman State Universal Basic Education Board, SUBEB. The Governor said the appointment has shown the direction of the government in terms of quality and caliber of personnel that has been running the affairs of the state public service. Obaseki urged the Solicitor General to rebuild the capacity of the Ministry of Justice as the highest producer of senior advocates of Nigeria and also to end that era of poor preparation of state cases before the court. The Governor also urged Mrs. Salami to maintain the one African success story that had been established in basic education. He added that she was brought in to consolidate and take the success to another height. Responding, Osadolo loaded the governor for the appointment and promised to deliver. Salami also assured the governor that she would not disappoint the state. In other news, the president of the World Bank Group, David Maupas, has called against fossil fuel subsidies, adding that subsidizing fossil fuel encourages the overuse of fuels. He said this at the sixth ministerial meeting of the coalition of finance ministers for climate action on tuesday a copy of his remarks was produced on the bank's website he said g20 countries had channeled 3.3 million dollars into fossil fuels since 2015 calling against fossil fuel subsidies he also called for appropriate carbon pricing and better leakage between climate commitments Radio Ojo had recently reported that although the federal government did not make provisions for petrol subsidy in 2022, Radio Ojo had recently reported that although the federal government did not make provisions for petrol subsidy in 2022 budget, the NNPC said it would continue to subsidize the supply of petrol until the government and labor conclude their talks on the issue. And lastly, former Senate President Ken Nnamani has appealed to agitators in the Southeast to sheet their swords warning that war is not child's play. The All-Progressive Congress chieftain said the destruction and killings in the region should not be regarded as a challenge to the federal government only. In a chat with reporters on Tuesday in Lagos, Namani noted that it is better for the Igbos to remain and achieve more in Nigeria. In his statement, he said, most of the people who call for war are usually the first to be wiped out. They would not survive the first two weeks. I witnessed the Biafra War. Many people died, including students in Unsuka, young and bright citizens who were a joy to their parents, their communities, and families. If Nigeria is properly organized, Igbos will thrive where we should continue to develop our talent and our businesses. Nnamani, whose book, Standing Strong, Legislative Reforms, Third Term, and Other Issues of the Fifth Senate, will be launched next week, called for a level playing ground for all tribes in Nigeria. Let the ground be level. Let us all unite and be competitive. This will help to grow the country to more enviable heights, he added. This is all the news we have for you. To get more updates from Radio Ojo, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, follow us on Instagram and Facebook.